Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Alwalia Contracts Q1 FY23 earnings conference call hosted by Dolip Capital. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchtone telephone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company which are based on the beliefs, opinions, and expectations of the company as on the date of this call. These statements are not the guarantees of future performance and involve risk and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. With this, I now hand the conference over to Mr. Shavan Shah, Vice President of Research Analyst at Dolat Capital. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome you all for Q1 FY23 Results Conference Call of Aluvalia Contracts India Limited. We thank the management for giving us the opportunity to host the call. From management, we have Mr. Subit Uppal, Deputy Managing Director, along with Mr. Vikas Aluwalia, Executive Director, and Mr. Sadbir Singh, Chief Financial Officer, with us. Without wasting much time, I would now hand over the floor to Subit Sir for opening remarks, and then we can have a Q&A session. Over to you, Sir. Thanks, Ravan. Uh, Aluwalia Contracts India Limited, an ETC company, has announced its financial results for Q1 FY23. During this quarter, uh, the company has achieved a turnover of 609.24 crores and a PAT of 37.78 crores in comparison to a turnover of 580.09 crores and a PAT of 34.79 crores in Q1 FY22. Company has registered a year-on-year -year growth of 5% in revenue and 8.59% in PAT over the corresponding quarter of the previous year. EPS of the company for Q1 FI23 is rupees 5.64 as compared to rupees 5.19 in Q1 FI22. During Q1 FI23, the company's EBITDA margin is 11.13% as compared to 11.42% and a PAT margin of 6.2% as compared to 6.00% in the corresponding period of the last financial year. Net order book of the company is 8203.91 crores to be executed in the next 24 to 30 months. Total order inflow during the current year stands at 2864.13 crores. In addition to this, we are L1 in projects amounting to 792.88 crores. So uh, we are ready to question now. Uh, so should we open the floor for questions? Yes. Sure, thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touchdown telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Participants are requested to use handset while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Thank you. The first question is from the line of Mohit Kumar from Dan Capital. Please go ahead. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. And good afternoon. congratulations good afternoon. on a very, very good set of numbers, sir. Especially the on Thank the you. order on the order info and order book side. Uh, so my question, first question is uh, the of course uh, the the order book is very sizable. Uh, the, but but the first quarter our our revenue growth was slightly tepid. So we are still maintaining that fifteen percent growth and twelve percent a bit down margin for the entire year. Is that correct, sir? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. uh, and so given that we have already have a size order book, uh, do we expect still to still to bid for the projects, or or do you think we can take a pause for a couple of quarters or less for this entire year? Yeah. We are bidding, but uh, we are bidding conservatively, and uh, we are picking and choosing our projects on which to bid for. Mm. And sir, uh, can I uh, can I please let us know this L1 order of 792 crore, the nature of this order? So there are two projects. One is uh, uh, the Tata uh, Cancer Hospital project in Mumbai, which we've been in L1 for some time. That uh, because that project is slightly over budget, uh, that is pending approval. We are expecting it in this quarter. 
The second one is uh, at the depot, the Mandale depot for MMRDA, which we are already doing. These are some additional PD works uh, of approximately 69, 70 crores, which we have just uh, become L1 uh, four days ago. So that uh, we expect to be awarded shortly. So the major part is uh, this cancer research center from Tata Memorial, which should be around 720 odd crore. Yes. Is that the yes, answer? you're right. Thank, thank you and all the best. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reminder to all the participants to ask a question. You may please press star and one on your touchstone telephone. The next question is from the line of the board single from Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Hello. Uh, hi, Vibor. Yeah. Hello, yeah, hi. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh, thanks for uh, taking my question. And congrats on uh, very strong ordering for that we have seen through the, through the first quarter of this year. Uh, so my uh, question was on the execution in this quarter. So I think we reported almost a 5% kind of a growth on a by wide basis. Uh, given that the first quarter last year was severely impacted by second wave of COVID, uh, the top line number seems to be a bit of a softer side. So any specific, um, and also, I mean, it's like numerically, we are looking at around almost 600 crores of revenue in this quarter. Uh, last quarter, we were at 730 crores. Of course, Q4 is the strongest one. But uh, any specific reason that uh, the uh, execution in this quarter was a bit tepid in terms of maybe some projects maybe not doing, say, picking up uh, significantly, or some other external reasons that you might want to highlight? So a uh, couple of reasons. One, a lot of EPC projects, you know, which we have bagged uh, on them, uh, you know, the, in the initial phase of the life cycle of the project, designing is something which goes on. So the execution uh, then picks up in the second phase or the second stage of the life cycle of the project. That is happening on some of our projects. Uh, a couple of our projects, uh, though they started, they were initially slow moving, but they've started like the veterinary university in Bihar and uh, you know a couple of hospital projects while they are now they've now started full fledged but uh, you know a couple of state governments continue to grapple with the uh, funding issues so therein uh, yeah. you know uh, two or three of our projects have slowed down thirdly the first quarter as you've seen historically uh, is uh, is the least in terms of uh, productivity so I, I see no reason if, if I was to if I was to plot our growth quarter on quarter over the past few years, uh, we are confident that uh, we will meet our uh, projections of 15 to 20 percent growth, top line growth this year also. More so now when the order inflow, you know, last time around uh, when we talked, our uh, concern tha uh, new order inflow pay that has been addressed. Uh, the order inflow, as you yourself said, has been, uh, uh, you know, we've almost met our uh, target for the entire year. So uh, right. now uh, the execution, the focus is going to be on execution in the next three quarters. So as I said, we will achieve our target of 15 to 20 percent growth, top line growth. Got it, sir. And similarly for the margins front, uh, the commodity prices uh, remain still quite at elevated levels. So how do you see that playing out? Uh, I mean, they have pulled off in the last one month or so. So uh, do we expect that maybe next quarter margins might still be at a similar 10% rate and from Q3 onwards, maybe we'll be able to report, uh, take the margins up a notch to meet the guidance of 12%. So just wanted to understand the trajectory that you are expecting for the margins for the remainder of the year and any other concerns in terms of commodity prices or other things that you might, uh, might, might want us to be aware of. I think that... I, I see the commodity prices uh, uh, stabling, uh, stabilizing, sorry, uh, you know, uh, over the last seven to eight months of this financial year. And uh, that is why we had given a projection of 12% uh, as far as the beta is concerned. And we are, we are going to get there. I see, I don't see any major challenges there uh, from now. Till end of March, the only challenge that I see, the only couple of challenges that I see, one is, you know, uh, in October, uh, there is now an annual break that happens in projects in NCR on account of pollution. That is a challenge which now we, we tend to build in into our, uh, into our planning. 
uh, the other is uh, you know uh, uh, we are kind of keeping our fingers crossed that uh, there is a stable there is stability going forward as far as uh, bihar is concerned uh, uh, you know with the ministry expansion today there seems to be a continuity in the portfolios uh, or in the ministries for which we are working so hopefully uh, you know that should not be too much of a concern but we are keeping our fingers crossed there as far as bengal is concerned uh, you know the government projects uh, two of the government projects that we were doing there uh, one uh, the milan mela is already handed over a final bill uh, is happening there uh, the auditorium is also slated for inauguration in october so uh, you know uh, we don't see a lot of risks there too uh, so that is uh, these are the challenges that i can foresee otherwise uh, i think we are in line uh, to meet our guidance targets a great to hear that sir so from the uh, last wiki question if i may if i could just get the break out of the order book in terms of uh, all of our uh, visual uh, the residential and public private and the region wise गवर्नमेंट प्राइवेट 18.64 परसेंट एंड रीजन वाइज दिस इज ईस्ट 36.88 परसेंट नॉर्थ 34.51 परसेंट एंड वेस्ट इज 18.72 परसेंट साउथ 4.51 परसेंट एंड रेस्ट ओवर सीज 5.38 परसेंट ओवर सीज 5.38 Sir, if I could, I missed out on the hospital segment. How much is that? Thirty-three percent. Thirty-three percent. Got it, sir. Got it. Great, sir. Thank you so much for taking my questions, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Reminded to all the participants to ask a question. You may please press star and one. The next question is from the line of Prem Purana from Anand Jati. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for taking my question, sir. uh and congratulations on a fairly good set of numbers this quarter and strong order additions uh so to begin with uh, to just want to get your sense on uh the political situation that we have in bihar and given the fact that bihar uh makes up for a fairly large part of our order backlog i mean including this anim- uh, animal husbandry university project and if we have do you see any risk to any of these projects i mean in terms of payments or would you would you would you believe that i mean there could be a situation wherein uh, you you could be required to go a little slow on some of these orders because you would like to kind of uh, keep a check on the the money that you kind of uh, invest into these projects from your pocket or from the business uh, frankly speaking uh, i am a whole lot more comfortable uh um, today then what i was maybe a month and a half ago uh, because you know there was uh, palpable tension between the allies a month ago but now i think uh, the present dispensation is expected to you know last uh, till the next round of general election right uh, so and uh, my personal feeling is that the government is much more stable now and uh, going forward uh, i think uh, the fund flow would also be better sure hey, any of these project variant the money was supposed to come from uh, central government uh, i mean the project has been given by state but then funding from uh, central government any 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 projects uh, which is a part of our order backlog of such nature so uh, uh, the central uh, government funding for say the chapra and the nalanda hospital that we are doing is already been completed now it's the state funds which need to be pumped in uh so you know all the projects that we are doing or the major projects that we are doing now are sort of marquee and visible projects for the government of bihar uh, uh we feel that you know they will pull out all stops to make sure that before the next round of election these buildings are completed like uh, 
the veterinary hospital and university which is about 890 crores that is the cm's pet project alanda hospital is in his constituency chapra another large hospital which is about 50 percent done so we feel that the government present government will be focusing on completing these projects in the next uh, couple of years so i think that augurs well sure and on uh, so the order addition that we've done during the year uh, seems to be a fair mix between public and private domestically and we've had international order as well i think till some time back we were not comfortable with private especially on residential real estate side and we have a couple of uh, residential real estate projects in this corridor any any change in thought process i mean why did we go for this international order why a private sector all i mean private sector makes up almost 30 percent of the total domestic orders that we've had during the year, uh, year. So any any change in the thought process? Are we, have we started finding comfort with private orders now? Or we would still be very, very selective? So I have been mentioning to you guys over the last two uh, calls that we've had that in the long term, we would like to maintain a healthy mix, uh, you know, and uh, we would continue to slowly build up our private sector portfolio. Uh, while maintaining a proper due diligence on the clients that we engage with. If you see uh, the order inflow from the private sector side, these are all marquee clients, blue chip clients. We've, uh, we won a data center from Adani. Uh, just to mention as an aside, data center is an area of focus for us. we would already executed one. This is the second one that we picked up. We, we picked up a large order from Bharti, Bharti's real estate, uh, the Albors developers, uh, order that we've got. This is a large commercial development at the Aero City. Uh, so, uh, you know, Bharti's pedigree is well known. Amity, they continue to be one of our uh, top private clients. They've started the university in Bangalore. We are doing that. Uh, so, these are these and such other uh, large or stable private sector. Uh, clients is what we continue to look at. Residential is still not a large focus for us. However, we picked up a small order uh, from Suraksha uh, <coughs> in Mumbai, in Vasai. We are testing the water as far as this client, client is concerned. And uh, uh, these are two orders aggregating about 140 crores. As far as the international order is concerned, uh, this is in Nepal. Uh, and uh, this is totally funded by the government of India. Hence, uh, hence we ventured into this. It's a prestigious building. It's the Police Academy, which is coming up there, and uh, you know it's uh, designed by CPWD, uh, funded as I said by the government of India. And uh, wow. this again was a project where there was very limited competition because only an Indian bidder uh, could back the job. Sure. And two more from my side, if I may, please. One was. Uh... Uh, how much is the debt and cash balance on our books uh, as of June? Yes, please. Huh? Debt and cash balance. Debt uh, and cash and equivalence. Uh, 11.91 crore. And uh, cash and uh, cash and cash equivalent is one, 154 crore. And bank balances, let's say 194 crore. Sure. And so just one last time, I think in uh, uh, answer to one of the earlier participants, I mean, you alluded to some payment issues in a couple of, with a couple of states. Bihar, you seem to be fine, com I mean, com you seem to be comfortable now. So which which states should these be where? I mean, you're still uh, seeing some issues in terms of uh, collections or payments? So as I explained, Bihar and Bengal. And uh, Bengal, you know, the government projects that we have, uh, one is completed, the second should be completed in the next couple of months. Uh, Bihar, uh, you know, the last month and a half, there was, uh, because of obvious reasons, uh, the payment cycles were stretched. Now, with the present new government in place, we are hopeful that things will improve, keeping in mind the next round of elections a couple of years from now. And just a small clarification, so this time in the order backlog that you a breakup that you gave us, right, in terms of... Your voice is not clear. Can you speak up, please? Yeah. Uh, is it better now? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So, the question for Sadhbi, sir, I think the order backlog that you gave us, either in terms of data segments or uh, geographies or uh, uh, I mean, public and private mix, 
this is for uh, the quarter end order backlog or the current 8200 crore rupees of order backlog so it's the total order backlog for, for 8200 crores yeah sure thank you thank you for the future thank you the next question is from the line of ashish shah from central broking please go ahead yeah good afternoon sir good afternoon uh, sir so two questions one on the margin you did say that you're looking at 12% for the year uh, but uh, if you can just walk us through how you expect the quarters to pan out because uh, is the commodity cost inflation now fully taken care in terms of our price escalations which gives you the confidence or the revenue mix in the order mix is likely to be better which will take us to to 12% because in q1 we were at 10% so i just want to know how we get to the rate of 12% from the current 10% as i had said ashish you know uh, the quarters especially the h2 that uh, the uh, the productivity will improve substantially right and uh, the prices commodity prices have also more or less stabilized now uh, plus uh, the uh, you know the initial investment a lot of lot of epc projects which we have done in this quarter will begin to yield results over the next three quarters or two and a half quarters so that we feel will drive up the margin okay sure uh, the second is on the inflow so obviously i mean the year to date inflows have been good uh, yet you know when i look at our let's say the expected turnover for 23 we might end up at somewhere between 31 3200 crores based on the guidance so do you think we'll need to actually go to uh, an inflow of even more than 3500 or 4000 crores this year because otherwise then next year's growth again becomes a question uh, based on the expected turnover for this year i think i am not worried on that count uh, because that should happen organically uh, you know we are just into uh, 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 the the fifth month of the year or the sixth month of the year and we are already if you take into account the l1 projects also we have already touched about 3600 and this does not include you know uh, uh, the increase in orders uh, the small increase in orders with our existing clients which keeps on happening say for instance bennett coleman uh, for whom we are doing the university in noida they have already extended our order 10 days ago by another 60 crores so uh, you know i don't foresee uh, uh, crossing 4000 crores an issue i think we should go beyond that sure so book, actually so what are from... will not be a constraint in growth even next year got it sir yeah pipeline is helping right sir thank you thank you thank you the next question is from the line of of sarvez abdul kazi from eliwai securities please go ahead Uh, hi good afternoon and thanks for taking my question and congrats for uh, very strong order intake uh, so my first question is is on the order intake uh, itself obviously uh, i mean you you alluded that including l1 we have an almost over 3600 crores of orders uh, so how was the competitive intensity for all these orders was it better than what we faced last year uh, or was it broadly the same it was broadly the same okay and and, and we would expect to make uh, our 12% kind of margins on all these orders that we have won as well yes <coughs> sure uh, the second question that i have is uh, it would be great if uh, you could give us uh, I, i mean you you obviously alluded to some of the projects in bihar and bengal but uh, would be great to know the status of some of the other major projects uh, that we have like let's say maybe aims jam more sayan hospital uh, the chamba project the poultry market project and so on so chamba and hamirpur uh, the two hospital projects are moving fine this is for the government of himachal pradesh uh in chamba there is a slight issue uh, you know the total order is about 290 crores out of which uh, you know uh, a small part uh, uh, is yet not cleared there are trees there this is for about 40 crores so we are told that uh, that should happen in the next one month or so so we are looking to complete that project in the next one year uh, 
so within that period this area should get cleared and uh, uh, we should complete that also alongside uh, the completion of the other uh, portion of the job. Uh, as far as Amirpur is concerned, we are looking to complete it in May uh, of 23. So that's moving on track. We have recently won for the government of Himachal. Uh, 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 actually, it's for the central government, education ministry, a central uh, university in Dharamshala, uh, which is funded by the center again, but it is in Himachal. Uh, as far as uh, as far as poultry market is concerned, Vikas, uh, uh, you want to take them through uh, the poultry market and the sign uh, hospital projects? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so the poultry market project is now uh, it is back on track. It had slowed down for some time um, because of uh, there were certain uh, decisions pending uh, with respect to design and some uh, decisions from the government. Uh, but now uh, all is uh, clear now, and uh, we've uh, completed a lot of work. And uh, it's although the project is delayed, but then uh, it's on back on track. So that is the thing. And then Cyan, uh, the first part of the project is uh, over, which was uh, we were to make a transit building uh, for about uh, that was about fifty thousand uh, to seventy thousand square feet of space uh, that we've already handed over to the Cyan uh, Hospital Management. And uh, the other portion in that now that there, there is a uh, environmental clearance being awaited because we have to remove some X number of trees, a lot of trees. So that permission is due to come any time. And apart from that, the other side, uh, although the work is still going on, there is a nursing building also. Uh, which is the work is going on at full swing. So, time is on track. Great to hear that. And <clears throat> a lucky bookkeeping questions for Sadhbir, sir. Uh, so, what would be your average cost of debt currently and uh, what was the capex that we incurred in Q1? This is the uh, average cost of debt is 7.5%. And okay. next question? Capex. It's 12.2 crores. I, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. 12.2 crores in Q1. Sure. Thanks. That's it from my side and all the best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Parikshit Kantal from HDFC Security. Please go ahead. Hi, hi sir. Congratulations on a good inflows. Uh, so my first question is on inflows. Uh, so if I include the Elven order, which is stuck in some procedural issue and might get awarded soon. So we already have 35, 3600 crores in the kitty. We have almost uh, second half, full second half, almost seven months, six and a half months left for the year. So, sorry, seven and a half months left for the year. So, what's the outlook on ordering? Uh, typically, when we see the second half to be loaded on inflows, uh, so do you think this number crossing seven to eight thousand crores for this year? No, no, I don't see it crossing that number. As I said uh, when I answered the first question, uh, we're going to be conservative. But yes, yeah, uh, it should it should it should be anywhere between four to five thousand. That's my guidance. So it's a conservative guidance uh, right now because I think uh, start of the year you were at twenty five hundred. We've already done thirty five hundred. So, yeah, it is conservative. Yes. Okay. Uh, so second question on on your segment, so commercial hospitals and transition and so. Just wanted to understand the commercial piece where we are seeing a major activity on the private uh, CapEx side has uh, been doing well and is expected to pick up significantly and it remains only about 8.5% of our total order book. So how do you see, a large part of this market uh, is south, uh, south. Uh, so how do we see both the segment as well as the geography, which is the south, uh, which is about 5% of the order book, uh, ramping up over the next uh, one or two years for us? So, yeah, it's a good question. Uh, uh, I think at some stage I'd mentioned that uh, we would start looking at uh, the southern market uh, once we had stabilized uh, uh, in the other geographies. So we have now, uh, if you go through our order book, uh, uh, you see that we have uh, recommenced operations in Bangalore. Uh, the Amity University, as I mentioned earlier, this is in Bangalore, in Devanhali. Uh, plus, we have also got an LOI for uh, uh, a medical college and hospital. Uh, it's a very prestigious work for Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore. 
So uh, going forward, uh, uh, we feel that at least one more project in this financial year, we will uh, we will add to our portfolio in Bangalore. Uh, and then maybe next year we would then move to Hyderabad. That's as far as our uh, strategy and planning uh, in working in the southern part of the country is concerned. We don't see ourselves working in Tamil Nadu or Kerala as of now. We would look to stabilize in Bangalore and Hyderabad and then uh, take a call in other regions of the southern part country. So uh, in as far as the east goes, we are... Uh, we are now, uh, you know, even in Odisha, uh, the one Z1 project that we are doing, that seems to be picking up speed now. So we may look at other uh, commercial or private developments there. Uh, as I mentioned in, uh, in, an, in the answer to the earlier question, uh, you know, we've uh, picked up a large commercial project from Bharti Reality. Uh, uh, we have, uh, so uh, we are looking at increasing our private sector portfolio now in so, baby steps okay uh, so, so these are the government uh, sector orders which you highlighted so but your thoughts on the private sector where the typically the so what i highlighted in response to a question were all private sector orders no, no, we're more talking about office space, grade A's. These are like, I know these are like medical college and university, MIT university, but I was more like interested to know on uh, the office space uh, where they are grade A developers. Are the order at the Aero City is 2.4 million square so feet. I'm talking about grade South. Commercial space. Space. South, I'm talking about South market. Which is, uh, yeah, so as I said, we'll now, we will now start re-establishing uh, our uh, connections with some of the uh, stable developers that we've worked with in the past, and uh, that is an area that we're looking at to grow again. Okay. Because we need to also counterbalance some of our east and north, which is a sizable portion of the order book. So I think south is a very apt market, which is very healthy, and most of the projects are financially closed, and there are tier, tier one developers operating out from there. So it would be a great counterbalance to have over the next couple of years. They were looking at, but you know us. We'll always be conservative. You know, we will not uh, just to pick up, uh, to beef up our portfolio. We are not going to, uh, you know, throw caution to the wind. Okay. Uh, just on the comp last question of our competitive intensity, sir. So now we have seen very healthy inflows uh, financially year to date. So do you think still? I mean, are you used to bucket these orders uh, up to a certain size? So now, how do you see the competitive intensity in this segment? We have very healthy inflows, and typically our conservative nature, we don't bid aggressively. So do you see the competitive intensity reducing even for the rest of the year? So if you can just give your views uh, on the competitive landscape in the building segment. I don't think overall, if you were to take an overview, I don't think the intensity is going to reduce. What we are also seeing is that phenomena of uh, heavy infra players entering or trying to enter into building industry is, you know, that has reared its head again. You see the Ashoka build cons or the Delhi build cons or the KECs of this world uh, wanting to enter into building industry. So the competitive intensity for the rest of the year, I think, will remain the same. We will just have to be careful in... in how we do our due diligence and which clients we pick and how we are able to zero in on projects uh, or geographical areas where we feel that uh, we will have an edge and can command a higher price. We have, say for instance, we have now, you know, as a part of our organic growth, uh, we have now forayed, since we've already had a strong presence in East, we have now taken uh, a significant step towards the Northeast. We have picked up a project in Assam, a large hospital project, because we see a lot of funding from the center happening there. So, so there the competitive intensity was less, and I think it will continue to be less because it's not an easy area for, say, a company from the west, western part of the country or the northern part of the country to go there. You need, you need to have experience of having worked for a substantial uh, a scale of projects in the eastern part of the country. So we are kind of leveraging that and moving forward. But within your uh, segmental, uh, uh, so how is the segmental bid pipeline looking now, sir? Uh, because 
you had good orders. So how is it now? How does the segmental bid pipeline look now within the various segments? If you can just ask if you can quantify them. Okay, so right. as you yourself said, we see a, a significant uh, increase in the private sector or the pipeline, you know, uh, especially from large established, there is consolidation which has happened there across the country as far as private developers are concerned. And uh, we are looking at a lot of our old clients reaching out to us again, even for residential projects, uh, for which we are doing our due diligence and seeing uh, to engage with, and not engage with. Uh, on the public sector side, uh, yeah, the healthcare uh, is, uh, an area which continues to be a focus for the center as well as state governments, and there seems to be uh, continual spending on the education side also. This is what I had mentioned in our last interaction. Education and healthcare uh, uh, seem to uh, be still focus areas for the governments. So we see this bid pipeline, what, if you can quantify what is the bid pipeline, so traditionally which has been there for us and now we are also looking to expand in the south and looking to add more segments, we said maybe in Hyderabad and maybe in private office side. So do you think organically our overall historical bid pipeline may multiply because of these two, so addressable opportunity will increase significantly for us over the next two years? So it is increasing. One one area which I uh, failed to mention earlier is like there is this redevelopment of railway stations. Now uh, um, 12 or 13 uh, tender uh, NITs have come out, but we have stayed away in the first round uh, because of our experience uh, with the Charbagh station, if you recollect, you know, that was a stillborn project. Uh, so we are uh, we are still waiting to see whether there is adequate funding by the central government for all these railway station redevelopment projects. So there are such such areas, uh, even in building construction, infrastructure for buildings, that uh, you know we see the government uh, is 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 taking steps to uh, you know uh, increase uh, the capex. So I think the order pipeline will continue to increase over the next couple of years, and maybe a year, year and a half from now, uh, the comp uh, competitive intensity should also start coming down because we are already seeing signs of stress in some uh, medium sized companies or smaller companies. What, is, what I'm hearing is that redevelopment projects may come on under the HAM model where you may require equity investment. So will you still go with that model or you stay away from any no. equity intensive model? We will not. We at the moment okay. no. Okay, great sir. Thank you for answering my question and all that. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of uh, Meet Parikh from Anandrati. Please go ahead. Yeah, uh, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so, uh, you have given the status of a few of the projects. Uh, for another few projects, the Jammu AIM Hospital, what is the status on that project? So, uh, the Jammu AIMS project, we have executed about uh, value wise 500 odd crores. And uh, at the moment, uh, the targeted completion is in September next year, September, October next year. Okay. Then on the uh, uh, Kolkata affordable housing, so how is it going, that project? That's picked up now. It's, uh, uh, we are logging a billing of about seven to eight crores a month there now. So that's <coughs> smoothly. <coughs> After the initial hiccups. Uh, on uh, and on the Mandala depot, you had mentioned uh, during the initial months that you have received an additional order from them. So on the Mandala depot, the previous the main project which you had received. So how is the execution at that project? Vikas, you want to answer that? Mandala depot. Uh, what is your uh, any uh, specific question or is just a general thing? Yeah. yeah, it's a general thing regarding the execution. How is it going? Uh, execution is going fine. I mean, um, it's all right. There's nothing wrong. Uh, and on course, it's uh, on track. yeah, it's on track. It's on track. And lastly, sir, on the uh, Gardani Bar project. So, uh, what is the status on that project? Gardani Bar. 
yeah it's a it's a 510 crore project we have done a billing of about 110 crores there that project is now moving on track okay thank you so much for that thank you oh, excuse me this is the operator mr parik we unable to hear you clearly i'm done i'm done thank you the next question is from the line of jitin rishi from access capital please go ahead yeah good afternoon sir uh, a few questions from my side so just one thing on the last quarter you said there was the nit patna project which was in l1 i36 crores so what has the steward is status as of now sir so yeah that project uh, has been awarded and uh, at the moment uh, the it's an epc project <laughs> so designing is happening and uh, we should be breaking ground on the project in the coming month in september okay so from sub from september we can see the execution right so yes so it is part of the order backlog right i mean if i may ask so yes it is it is okay. and sir so, uh, a few details i would required on the closing log of the uh, project so i will be just naming the projects please help me with the closing order backlog as on as on june so uh, first is the animal science bihar to what is the order backlog sir Uh, just can you specify that? Basu, Basu. Yeah, so Bihar uh, Animal uh, is the initiative project, the veterinary project. Basically, so this is Bihar is two thousand twenty twenty fifty three crores. It was eight ninety crores, right, sir? Uh, at the last quarter, and yeah, sir, as I said, Basu has just the execution is just started, and yeah, uh, it yeah, it is just started, and. Uh, we have barely executed about 5% of the project okay okay yeah so this uh, kolkata new town project what is the order backlog sir uh, sorry calcutta new town calcutta new town project sir uh, order backlog new town project the order backlog is about 90% 90% is the order backlog. so 10% you have executed Uh, what I understand from the aims, uh, you said five hundred crore executed. So right now the order backlog would be uh, what around uh, about seven hundred and fifty crores. Seven fifty crores. Okay. So yeah. then the uh, old, this old, old project of uh, Chapra and the Nalanda project. Uh, what is the status now, sir? So as far as Chapra closing book. Hmm. We are looking to we are looking to complete these projects by uh, middle of. Uh, next uh, calendar year, and uh, the value left in these both these mm. jobs is to the tune of about 150 crores each. Basically, we do we have not seen much movement in Nalanda from the few for the few for the 156. Now there's 150. Yes. 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 Yeah. As I said, I, for the past mm. couple of months, one and a half months. I understand. Yeah. Sir, yes. Uh, sorry, I'll be. I'm taking your time, sir. But uh, again, on the Cyan, what is the closing order book, sir? Cyan Hospital. Cyan, uh, uh, as far as the Cyan Hospital, is concerned, uh, the remaining work is about 495 crores. Uh, and this Mandalay project, after the, uh, so you, I think the closing order book. If you can help me, then I will add the L1 portion as you said in the opening remarks. So what will be closing order book? Yeah, uh, 324 crores. When you say closing, you are talking about the remaining order, right? The remaining order, excluding the L1 portion. The uh, 324. Okay. So this Bhuvneshwar Z estate. Bhuvneshwar Z estate. Uh, uh, 289 and sir so uh, the gardhani bag uh, as you said that it is picking up but now what is the closing order book in june now sir is uh, gardhani bag is concerned uh, 350 crores and sir uh, there is this uh, san mira nirakari uh, project so it was last couple of a year back so any progress on this project or what is the status as on now This project is moving fine. We are logging a billing of seven to eight crores every month there. So what could be the order backlog in June, sir? Forty crores. Sorry, sir. Hundred and forty crores. Hundred and forty crores, sir. 
and so this nephorina uh, commercial development for nephorina eco space any movement uh, any, any cruising book there sir yeah that project uh, you know as far as our scope of work is concerned that's over now okay. yeah okay that is uh, that 200 okay we had some 200 crore types so this uh, chamba project what could be the nbcc chamba project order book sir so as far as chamba is concerned the order book is 150 crores crores and uh, the cpwd do for to particular hospital work in hamirpur what is the status now sir 170 Both okay. these jobs that I said will be completed mm-hmm. uh, by May or June next year. Okay, so this uh, this Chamba and this both complete May or June next year. Okay, okay, okay. and uh, okay, great sir. And sir, uh, just one last thing I would like to ask you, sir. So, uh, you said uh, you can expect obviously four to five thousand crore of inflow. That is uh, really good. But any uh, bid pipeline in terms of value which you would like to highlight, it, which key projects you are focusing. and uh, what what is the value and what what can be the outcome like you know when can you expect the uh, mid outcomes of the next 2 to 3 months in terms of value and size in the may so we are bidding uh, as i said hospitals continues to be a focus area both for the mm-hmm. central and the state governments as well as us so mm-hmm. we are looking we are bidding for a few hospitals in haryana bidding mm-hmm. uh, Uh, so you know what we are seeing where uh, the governments are the same that is at the center and in the state we are seeing uh, substantial uh, funding happening assam we picked up a hospital there are a few mm-hmm. other institutional projects which are coming there uh, we are seeing uh, some redevelopment projects uh, to cpwd uh, mm-hmm. happening in delhi like shrinivaspuri we bid for a job which was about 800 crores that was cancelled it's come up again uh, Uh, then there are uh, you know projects like Thal Sena Bhavan for the MES again a large project for the military 800 crores so that we are bidding I mentioned that we are bidding for DLF uh, uh, we are bidding for uh, you know a client like uh, Krisumi which is uh, an Indo Japanese collaboration so our pipeline is to the tune of about 5000 crores as things stand. as it will include building the hospital mix yes. so this aims uh, bangalore project which what is could what what is the closing order book or it is not started yet oh, no it's not aims not aims sorry mit sorry my 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 bad it is a university it just started we've not yes. even broken ground we mobilization is happening so we expect to break ground uh, in the mm-hmm. month of september is month of september you are looking to complete about 7 lakh square feet in the next one year because they aim to start the university next year okay so this is that this is a fast moving project yes so one year you will be able to complete the project by next one one and a half year right yes so what is the value if you can uh, indicate moment, you know as it happens with amity they they built in ah. at the moment the awarded value is 150 crores but uh, you know from the time that they awarded they, as you know they are uh, existing mm-hmm. clients of ours we do most of their developments across the country so when they had awarded it to us uh, you know they already scaled up in the uh, in the mm-hmm. one month value terms uh, so i think our total value here mm-hmm. by the time we finish the total development should be 350 to 400 crores Two fifty two, sorry, three fifty to four hundred. You know the same happened when we did the project in Kolkata. We started off with a hundred oh. order, and we actually, I think, oh. finished close to four hundred crores when the total FSI. So, has, so right. even if one fifty can go up to four hundred crore, that is like a big jump. What we did in Kolkata. Got it. Got it, sir. Sir, just last question from my side. What is the fixed price and variable variable price contract uh, percentage in the order backlog? Fifteen percent is fixed price. Okay. So this uh, Nepal project is including variable uh, portion or it's a fixed price contract? Nepal uh, is uh, fixed price. I'll have to get back to you on that since it's a 
project which has been uh, which has been funded uh, and uh, you know uh, uh, planned by cpwd i think it has a variable it's a variable price contract there is a 10 cc clause there that's just my side thank you and sir all the best sir thank you thank you the next question is from the line of shavan shah from dolat capital please go ahead uh yeah uh, so most of the uh, things we have already discussed uh, sir couple of uh, data points on the balance sheet front so inventories as on june uh, trade receivable and trade payable value so uh, this is trade receivable 419 crores including no current and non current and retention is 177 crores uh, sorry inventory is uh, 177 is inventory One hundred seventy-seven retention. One seventy-one is retention. Okay. And one hundred fifty-seven for mobilization bonds. One fifty-seven. One sixty-seven crore. One sixty-seven. Okay. And uh, unbilled revenue is three hundred thirty-four crore. Okay. And besides uh, that, inventory two hundred fifty crore. Two hundred fifty crore. And trade trade payable. Including real estate inventory thirty-eight crore. Uh, sorry, sir, I, I didn't get. Uh. This is inventory 250 crore. Hmm. Out of which real estate inventory 38 crore. Okay. And WIP 334 crore. 334. And a uh, trade payable is? Trade payable is uh, 594 crore. 594 crore. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, Mr. Sir, you mentioned that uh, uh, overall bid pipeline right now is 5,000 odd crore. So, uh, in that, uh, uh, private share would be how much broadly? Private share would be about 30 percent. 30 percent. Okay. And and in terms of the uh, 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 the race would be mostly would be the central government, or it would be 70, uh, 80 percent would be central government. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, thank you uh, for uh, giving us the opportunity to host the goal. Uh, thank you all the participants for participating. Uh, sir, do you have any closing comments? No. I think uh, if there are any other questions that uh, the participants have, they can reach out to our IR cell, uh, and we will revert back to them individually. Thank you so much, and uh, looking forward to seeing you after. when we announce the results of the next quarter thank you so much bye thank you thank you sir thank you thank you members of the management ladies and gentlemen with this we conclude today's conference call thank you for joining us and you are now disconnected online